I really hope you got a So we made it to Pingyang in the end. Uh, the train was about four and a quarter hours. Went through some very, very bleak looking places on the way. Came into Pingyang. We met up again on the platform and we went downstairs and bought our tickets out of here for Wednesday to Xi'an. So that's sorted, that's good. Then we walked out of the station and taxi drivers were trying to get us for 40 into the centre but there was a bus sitting there so we just went and got on the bus and it was four for both of us which is more like it so we got the bus into into town had a little walk along some dark streets through the city gate and then along some cobbled streets and we managed to find ourselves our hotel that we'd booked on booking.com um, we, we booked it 37 New Zealand dollars for three nights. And when we got here, I was like, no, 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 no. Yeah. There's a Japanese girl down there who's um, basically was translating. And she had the room that we got or something, even though this looks exactly like the room that's on booking.com. It's a little bit weird. But we've paid 100 for one night. So it's twenty dollars. It's about it's not quite double, but it's a quite a bit more than what we've booked. But I don't know, that was a pretty strange price in a way. Very strange. Hello. But anyway, yeah. And when we were debating it with them down there, people were filming us. So and then watching the videos back so I could hear my voice in the background while I was still talking. China. Yeah. But yeah, this is the room. Um, it's quite hard bed. Uh, bathroom's all in one. Ashtray, as standard. Aircon that doesn't seem to work. And a cool old CRT TV. And slippers. Oh, slippers. Wow. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be wearing them. But yeah, the town itself seems nice. So. Yeah, lively. Yeah. But maybe because of it's holiday time. Yeah, so it's Labour Day weekend. Week. Three days at the moment. So yeah, I mean, good impressions. But it's dark, so we'll head out and we'll see what Ping is about in the next few days. <laughs> So that was Pinyo. What did you think of Pinyo? Alice? It was very beautiful, very small, very cozy, beautiful. <clears throat> it kind of like gave the vibe of the China that I imagined in my head before I came here. True. Yeah, it was because it's surrounded by ancient walls and it's kind of really old buildings. A lot of buildings are kind of crumbling down already and I don't think somebody would even be able to live there, but people do live there. A lot of, well, mostly everywhere where you walk, you will be able to see uh, little stalls of people selling different types of souvenirs or selling different types of food, like snacks. We tried a few, I tried some ice cream. 
and we always ate inside of the walls. They have like every courtyard, there used to be a house, they have now converted into like, a guest house or hotel and mostly all of them, well probably all of them, they actually have like a eatery or a restaurant. So we always ate there. What was your favorite thing that we ate? Um, I don't know to be honest. I quite like the eggs in the mornings. So a couple of the mornings we had scrambled eggs with different things. But yeah, no, I, I enjoyed it as well. The architecture is great. Like, as Alice said, it's the kind of China that you imagine. Um, yeah, and just walking down those sort of streets, those narrow streets, and just imagining it's five, six hundred years ago is pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah, now we're at Pingyao Station. Um, there's two stations in Pingyao. The one that we arrived at, which is about eight kilometers away, and we started heading there, because only thought. to get on a bus and end up coming here. And it turns out this is the right one, but this one is just outside the city walls, and we could have just walked here. Yeah. But anyway, we're here now. It's a good three hours before our train now, but plenty of time. No point rushing. Yes. And we're heading to Xi'an for a few days. A lot of people here. Got an overnight train hard sleeper which is going to be an experience in itself so yeah see you in GM I suppose or in the train